was a fool that I thought for you that would just take your shower. No, oh, stop! Don't oh, be stupid. Stop. No, I insist. You have to take your bath first. Okay, okay, okay. Let me. Okay. Oh. take the decision since you said you no longer love her. I'm a woman. I know what I'm talking about. Unless there is something you're not telling me. Maybe you're not telling me the truth. Why do you say something like that? Were you not the same person who said you no longer love her? That you love me now? So what is still keeping you from going for this divorce? And at least make me your wife officially. I mean, this, this is not nice. See, let me tell you, if your plan is to keep having me as a mistress and someday you dump me, it's not gonna work. It be easy, because I'm a woman. And I need to have my own home, have my own children. It be easy. It's either you take me home as your wife I will stop this whole shit because I'm not going to continue. Can I at least get some rest tonight? I have a very active day at the location Please, my love, maybe tomorrow.
coming to the location to do it. To see me, of course. Is there anything wrong in coming to the location to see your guy? Ibezim, how many times have your wife come to the location to see you? She has to come. Always. So if I come to your location to see you, who are you going to tell your crew members that I am? Your girlfriend? to your question. Don't start this man. Wait, wait, wait. You only ask the question. See, I am sick and tired of this your hide and seek game. For Christ's sake, what do you take me for? Even him say, just, just look at me very well. I have this quality you can never ever find in any other room. So why play me your mistress? This will be the last time I will come to see you in the hotel room. Do you understand me? If you want the real thing, you know where to find it. It has not gotten to this. It, it has got into everything. Come on! You get that thing in your house and you call her your wife. Then me, your mistress. Check it out. It's old. Once I'm through with the final shooting and get home, hmm? I'm going to tell her about the boss. You promise? Yes, I promise. I'll cross my heart. find out how our daughter is faring. This is an abomination. The times I try to call, they didn't pick my calls. This has gotten to the heart of it, and something needs to be done fast. What will I do now? What will I do? Maybe, maybe I should talk to him. Call him to order. No. No, 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 no. That's not an option. My husband does not feel like any woman involving in our affair. He will just conclude that I have been till bearing with his name. Hmm. No, that's not an option. Sometimes men need to be called to order, especially by a third party. Either a friend to the marriage or a parent to the man. Since we started this union, one thing I have learned is that my husband does not like a third party involved in our affair. He hates it with so much passion. So, are we going to keep watching him like this? He can't continue misbehaving. He has a home, a wife and a daughter, and he should be responsible. Resulted to prayers. God is my only option. Four times four. Sixteen. Sixteen. Good. So five times five. Equals to twenty. Good. So you write it down here. Talk for yourself.
Next one is seven times seven. I think your daddy is back. <laughs> okay, let's go back on that. I don't deserve this. Why are you frustrating me like this? He says something, your silence is killing me. Do you really want to know? Yes, I do. I'm sick and tired of this marriage. I need a divorce. What did you just say? Exactly what you heard. Let's go our separate ways. The love I thought I had for you has eluded me. Melody, I don't love you anymore. Let's call this marriage. Wait. Baby, is this you actually talking? Or is this something, a demon talking through you? If there is any demon in this house, I'll show you. See me on my knees, darling, I'm begging you, please. I've learned my lesson, I'll never do it again. I'm sorry I treated you bad. I'm so sorry, babe. I was a fool. So, so baby don't go no. Give me another chance Just let me love you again Let me love you again I'm sorry I treated you bad I'm so sorry baby I was a fool who never knew what he had I never knew I love you so
your daughter. Are you serious with what you said? Yes. That is what I want. Divorce. Give it to me. I'm sorry I treated you bad. I'm so sorry babe. I was a fool who never knew what he had. So, so, baby, don't go. No. Give me another chance. Just let me love you again. Let me love you again. I'm sorry I treated you bad. I'm so sorry, baby. I was a fool who never knew what he had. No, 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 no. Oh, darling, Daddy is very tired. He's been working for two weeks now and he needs to rest. Okay? Thank you. Okay, you enjoy this time. Of course you will. Eat your food. me now. Yeah, I'm about to enter my car. I'm driving to Enugu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to take some days off. Hm. She has been a stress on my head. Ah. Okay, just wait for me at the usual hotel. In less than three hours, I should be in Enugu. Okay? Yeah. Okay, baby. I love you too. Okay. 
One wake up one morning and, and start asking for a divorce. <laughs> oh. no. No, 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 no. This is not ordinary. And we cannot sit and fold our arms while the devil ruin your marriage. Why me? Why me? <laughs> What have I done wrong? What have I done to deserve all this hurt? <laughs> I have devoted everything to this union. I have given in my life, my money, my blood, everything. Why is this happening to me? Why? I know it's bad. But crying will not solve this problem. This is a spiritual battle. And we have to fight it spiritually. Hmm? Please. Have I not been praying? Have I not been praying? I have been praying. I have been praying. Don't worry. We need to seek a higher spiritual authority. The devil cannot come over this. Please. Wait, do you know my man called me this morning? Yes? Has he told her? Of course, he told his wife about the divorce. Wow. That's my babe. Give me five, give me five, give me five. I trust him now. We're going to carry last. Of course. Babe, see, the last time I spent with him, it was very hot for him. He didn't even know when he started promising. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that once I get back. And trust me, he kept to his promises. Oh, I like that. <laughs> the next thing for you to do now, babe, is to follow up. Hey, follow up, oh. don't relax, don't give a breathing space at all. See, it does not just end in telling her alone, but you have to do it very, very fast, yeah? Abby, yes, so. see, babe, don't mm -hmm. worry about that. You know why? He's on his way to Enugu. And trust me, this whole thing is not going to take up to a month for me to be officially called Mrs. Ibezim. Wow, that's my oh, baby girl. I'm so excited. Oh, God, I trust you now. Let me get one something. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. <laughs> But Pastor, is there no way you can go ahead with these prayers without having to bring him here? Some mysteries around him that will open his eyes to his kingdom before the police. So I understand. But having to convince my husband to come here with me, that's going to be a big problem. My dear, don't worry. I will talk to him. I believe he will give me a listening ear. Pastor. Hmm? Please, he will come and see you any moment from now. That will be great. Okay, thank, thank you so you. much, Pastor. Thank you. Huh? 
how are you going to go about telling him this? Huh? I don't want him seeing it as if I've gone around town telling people about our marital affair. But you don't worry. I know exactly how to tell you. Please, I don't want any trouble. I'm tired. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, everything about her pisses me off. Even staying in that house is just like staying in the hell. Hasting up with this divorce thing. I mean, so you can have me to yourself. Right. <laughs> so, first thing first, you have to bring in a lawyer. Let's do this thing swiftly. Who says we can't have our wedding in a month's time? No. Oh. I can't divorce my wife and marry you in a month's time. Looks suspicious. Do I care? Does it look like I care? I don't care what anyone thinks. What is important to me now is my joy and my happiness. Hmm? I really don't care about people's opinion. You can do this now. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you're going to wait for him to come back? Even if it means waiting all day, I will. You're my friend, and this is the time to prove it. This is the time to show me to our friendship. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's okay. And so, where exactly did he go to? I don't know. He didn't tell me anything. He just woke up, dressed up, and he left without saying a word to me. <sighs> mm. <sighs> Shall I come to pass? Tomorrow, I think I will be fine.
easy to switch stuff. He's not going to come back home. I think he should start leaving. Stop crying. You have to be strong. If not for anything, for your daughter. She can't see you in this condition, else you, you, you will destabilize her mentally. Hmm? It's okay. Stop crying. Thank you. Thank you. Once in every man's life, there comes a challenge. Challenges can, can come from any angle, in any form, but you have to be brave enough to overcome it. It came to pass, but not to stay. It will surely come to pass, and you will have back your heart in hand. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate talking. Hmm? Promise me you won't cry when I go. Mm -hmm. I won't. Please do mm -hmm. Thank you so okay. much. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you. Um, let me see you. <laughs> Anything you can think of, okay? As long as it's coming from you, I'll eat it. <laughs> so when are you returning back to your base? Um, I'm not going back today. Why? Do you mean you're not filming and you're here spending money in the hotel? I'm spending the money paying the bills to be with you. You busy. I think the right thing to do is for you to get home. Hasting up with this um, divorce and make me your wife. Bring me into your house. Not spending money here. Okay, okay. I'll be going tomorrow. Hmm? Okay, let me go get something for you. I'll be back shortly. Okay. Well, keep me waiting. I mean, he has not called you to tell you he's not. Where can he be now? Only God knows. What about Zara? She has gone to school. She kept asking her about her dad. I don't even know what to tell her anymore. Hmm. The devil is a liar. This marriage will not crash. Amen. Let me call him with my phone. Good day, sir. Good day. How is your family? Eh, we are fine. And you? How is work going over there? The work is fine, but I'm done with work. Doesn't mean you are in town? Not really. I'm still in Enugu doing, trying to do one or two things. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, there is something I want to discuss with you. What is it? You know my pastor, 
my mentor, Pastor Phillips. Now what's about him? He called me on the phone and told me he had a revelation about my friend whose husband is a movie director. And I only have one friend whose uh, husband is a movie director. And what's the revelation about me? He would like to see you one on one. Listen, Madam Gold, I don't know the business you have with the pastor. But tell him that the tricks did not work on me. You should try the next person, okay? I'm not ready to drop one naira, my one naira for him. Do you hear me? You surprise me. You don't know my pastor, Pastor Phillips. How much do you think you have to give to him? My pastor does not need your money. He does not need your money, Mr. Ibezi. I don't need his prayers either. Have a nice day. Mr. Hello? Very well. He doesn't want to use his ear to hear anything called pastor. Hmm. Hmm. We will find a way to take him to my pastor. If it fails, then I will make an arrangement for my pastor to come here and see him. I think that would be better. Marriage is not a do or die affair. I am no longer interested. So let us go our separate ways. You cannot just wake up one morning and spring up a divorce. Mm -mm. I am human. I have blood going through my veins. You know how much that I have invested to make you the big director that is now making your head puff. I know how much I have invested in this marriage. So I am not going to take any bullshit from you. Okay. I want you to check everything you think you've invested in this marriage. I am going to double it for you. In addition to that, the normal divorce procedure was incorrect. My landed properties, the cash in the bank, I am going to divide into two and you're going to go with one. I promise. I am going to take care of Zara's feeling and education till she gets through from school. Yes, but as for this marriage, it's no longer working. On that fate will be on the altar. We vowed for better, for worse. Till death do us part. So, my darling husband, there is no way that I am going to. want me to kill you in this house, right? Still, just watch your hands. What should we do that? Since you don't want to live in peace. My charger from where I kept it. Baby, I'm sorry. My phone went off. And my charger is bad. So I just decided to just charge my phone a bit. I'm sorry. How many times have I warned you to stay away from my things, my belongings, and everything around me? How many times have I warned you? Baby, I'm sorry. How many times have I warned you and go mad? You slapped me. And if you don't return that charger where you took it from, I'm just going to sleep again. Give me 
food on the dining. doesn't eat my food in this house. Yes. He doesn't talk to me. He doesn't play with me. Not even with our daughter. He's always looking for every little thing to nag at me. This is serious. Okay. Last night, he raised his hands on me. But did he actually beat you? He almost did. If not for the timely intervention of our daughter, who screamed immediately, he raised his hands to beat me up. <laughs> what can you make a man to misbehave like this? If not that he has started seeing another Hey. Exactly what I was thinking. For a woman in marriage is patient. Hmm? You just have to come and let me. Okay? Still perform your wifely duties. We will get to the root of everything. Amen. Please. I 
I have given your proposal a second thought. Since your mind is no longer here, there is no need living as best of enemies. I have accepted the divorce. But I have my condition. Okay. Let go. Since you are the one who wants this divorce mostly, you'll be the one to leave this house for my daughter and I. We won't leave for you. I want to raise my daughter in her father's house. I've already told you. I'm going to divide all my properties into two and give you half. If you like this house, I can buy it for you. And also, we send the money for Sarah's home. I don't need your money. I can comfortably take care of my daughter. I'll be starting a new job in the room tomorrow. When I finish and come back home, we'll go and meet a woman for the first members. <laughs> Go ahead and listen. I can't wait for this shoot to be over. I want a divorce now. This shoot will take just two weeks. Two weeks is such a long time, and I cannot take that risk. I think we should just go see the lawyer this morning. As you can see, I am busy and I will be busy for two weeks. So the divorce has to... And I said I cannot wait. Uh-uh, I can't wait. Was I not the one that brought up the issue of this divorce? So I will be the one to say it when it will be done. We are not in any competition, though. Whether you are the one who brought it out first, or I'm the one, we are not in competition. All I know is that I can't wait anymore. I cannot, I cannot wait. Script or no script? You are looking for my trouble. I said I cannot. Do. Is it by force? You want a divorce, and I want a divorce. Let's end it. The world can hear me. Oh, this house will not contain us. I want a divorce now. Oh. Stupid question is that? I see. Let me look for something to eat. Why can't I hear it? Meanwhile, I'm just coming from the lawyer's place. He said he has prepared the divorce papers, so I signed my column. Whenever you are ready, Mr. Oga, go and sign yours so that we can get all this over with.
My mind is made up. I've had enough. Let him just go. I can't keep begging for love. So, did he finally agree to leave the house for you? Does he have an option? Well, if you're strong enough to take this divorce, if you are sure you're strong enough to take this divorce, you'll suit yourself. My dear, my mind is already made up. I have taken enough humiliation from him. By God's grace, my daughter and I will be fine. So, you have it. So, so, what are we to see for? The love everlasting. Joy, <laughs> peace, happiness. Cheers, cheers, come on, come on. Come <laughs> cheers, come on, my cheers. love. <laughs> hmm. This is nice. Yeah. Hmm. Bye, man. Please come, I need a bottle of beer. Rather, bottles of beer. Jane, are you still going to take beer after taking red wine? If it's me, this wine is just for toast. The real thing is in beer. I mean, I'm happy. We're celebrating. Have you forgotten? Mama, where are you? This is the fifth bottle, and you're ordering for the sixth one. Are you okay? Hey, baby, relax. Life is for the living. <laughs> I'm just having fun. <laughs> My friend, no, take, take that. Take, take it, take it back. Take it back. Give it. Are you mad? Are you stupid? Bye, Mom! Bye, Mom! Bye, Ibezin, if you don't have money, simply tell me you don't have money. I'll feel to the news.
Just take a seat, okay? No, 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 no. I don't drink alcohol. Just a seat. I didn't say you should finish it. And I said no. Why? Okay. Because I don't want to be a drunk wife and a mother. Mm -hmm. Yes! I don't want to just uh, come home one day and I'm acting all drunk before you know I'm scratching the house and doing all sorts that I'll probably later regret. Yes! Mm. Okay, okay, I mm -hmm. understand. But just a sip. Come on, come on, come on. You like it, okay? This is it. This is just it. Yeah, good. And I said no. No. Water. Come on. Come on. Baby, no! Mm -mm. You can't force me. No, 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 no. all night today and I'll be coming back tomorrow morning. All night shoots, that means it's going to be stressful. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Yeah, that means you want me to come back tomorrow.
Zara, eat your food. You talk a lot these days. How many times would I warn you about eating and talking? Now, can you just say whatever you have to say? So you saw my call last night and you couldn't call me back. Please, if you know you don't have anything else to say, I'm very busy. I don't have time to listen to this nonsense. So I'm not talking nonsense, huh? So it's nonsense that you're talking. I can see that you have nothing better to say. Didn't you see me? Am I not talking to you? Please. Please. I don't want any man to kill me in this marriage. Okay? I want to leave this marriage peacefully. So please, eh? Don't just start. Don't start. Please. When are we going to sign the papers? The only thing I want to hear from you right now is when we are signing the papers for the divorce. Oh, 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 oh. That's why you're behaving this way? Oh my god, you're so funny. Mm -hmm. I know, right? 
<laughs> no, no, continue with what you were saying. I'm enjoying every bit. Yes. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Who is that guy that you've been answering his calls? The same reason you accepted the divorce. The same reason why you don't pick my calls. The same reason you don't care about me anymore. What are you talking about? Who has been taking my place? What are we doing here? This is where our journey into the world of two together has started. Where I proposed to you and you accepted my proposal. Where our love started. I brought you here so we start all of it. understand what you're saying. Anyways, I have signed the divorce papers and I think you should go to the same. I'm not divorcing you anymore. I'm renewing my vow to you. I will never allow any other woman to come between us. You are a true and high honor. Take my call and he doesn't return the call. <laughs> How could you be so drunk to the extent you were vomiting in his hotel room? What was at the height of it, Jane? How I mean, am I supposed to know I'll get drunk? I was only excited. I didn't drink to get drunk. It's okay, don't cry again. <laughs> don't cry again. But you know, no man with his right senses would want to marry a drunk for a wife. You know that. I'm not a drunk now. I'm not a drunk. I know, I know. I know you're not a drunk. It's okay, stop crying. <laughs> Maybe you should just dial his number on my phone. Maybe we'll pick. Just dial his number. Hello, baby. 
please, please, baby, I'm so sorry. Whatsoever I've done, please forgive me. Please. Hey, listen, you bitch. I have gone to stay with my wife. Do you hear me? You wouldn't have been compared, compared to her at all. Listen, it's over between us. It's over. I have gone to be with my lovely wife. So, stay clear. And don't you ever call this line again. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> I dropped all of me. It's okay. I'm crying. It's okay. I'm I'm I didn't want to say anything while you were on the phone. But we need to talk. Okay. What are we talking about? I'm not going back on my decision. I want a divorce. your marriage. Leave him. He's distracting you. Let us start from where we start and build our home. Heaven knows that there is no other man in my life other than you. Then why are you insisting on the divorce? Why would you want to end this union? Just because of one stupid girl out there? Why? After all the sacrifice that I made for you, after everything that I have been through because of you! You just threw everything out the window. You just forgot about everything because of one girl! Listen, baby. I say I am sorry. That was in the past. It won't happen again. How am I sure that won't happen again? How am I sure that one girl from somewhere will not just spring up and start deceiving you again? How? Baby, it won't happen again. I am sorry, my love. I am sorry. Please. I don't trust you anymore. You have lost every single trust that I had in you. I can't live here with you. I have lost the trust that I had in you as a husband. I can't live in insecurity. This marriage is over.
went to bring your solicitor to solicit for you. You and your solicitor have failed. One more. Eh? Why am I not there? Eh? You cannot even greet your mom that you have not seen for very long now. Eh? Ma, I'm sorry. Please don't mind me. I'm minding you. I'm minding you. Hmm? You want to crucify him? Eh? Because I even seem so little in your eyes. Come on, Balo. Only. No, Mama. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Please, I'm sorry. Everybody deserves forgiveness. Eh? And I will not even forgive you. Okay? Because you did not do what you did not bring me when I came. Hmm? Because me, my manner. Never. Why was someone? 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 Why how are you all If you know what I went through in this house, if you know what this man here put me through, because of one stupid girl out there, hey, Mama. Do you know that he even slapped me because of <laughs> because of uh... because you know, mom, it is now I'm the baby. Only stop crying. Eh? Mm. I understand. Eh? At least his senses has come back now. Only because all men are the same. No killing ever can move. Eh? At least let's thank God that his senses are back now. Only mama. How am I sure that he will not do it again? I am sure it will not happen in one big old name. Oh, it will not happen. At least look at the consequences of his first action. Eh? Mama, I say I don't want. I don't want this marriage again. I am tired. I'm sick and tired. It's my fault. I don't want. I'm, I'm so sorry. There was traffic on the road. But I'm here now. Mama, good afternoon. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? I'm good. And you? You're welcome. Okay. If you like, you can go and bring everybody, the whole world here. I have made up my mind. I am not interested anymore. Um, Mama, please, can I take her out for some minutes? You are free, my dear. You are free, please.
I want to say thank you for the vital role that you played in saving my marriage. <laughs> May the name of the Lord be praised. Always. You know, you just saved history from repeating itself. How do you mean my first marriage? Were you married before? Should get something to eat. Yeah. Okay. No, everyone is fine. Chama is fine. Yeah. Uh, hello? Hello?
sweetheart. What can you ask me such question? Of course, you know, I miss you more than she does. Yeah, she's upset. Yeah, she's alright. And I miss you so much. So much. Oh, go away. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Did you get that? I just did it now. to have you back. Oh, yeah. Okay. I love you. I love you, baby. I love you too. Bye. Thank you.
Honey? Honey? What is the matter? I want to be left alone. Are you trying to tell me you didn't miss me? It's not about whether I missed you or not. Then what is this all about? We'll talk about it tomorrow.
planning? What is the problem? I don't have any problem. You have not been yourself since I came back. It is you who have not been himself. Honey, if I have done anything, tell me, let me apologize. You are really hurting me with this your attitude. Apologize? Go ahead. Apologize. Maybe I should just go back to Enugu. That will give you enough time to be alone. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You know, it's my regular mood swing. I've been battling with it. I'm sorry, baby. I promise I'm, I'm fine. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I'm fine. You almost broke me back. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Tomorrow is your birthday. How can I forget something like that? <laughs> and I have a surprise for you. Really? Yes, I do. Wow, I can't wait. I know you can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Right under my nose, right? What are you talking about? Sleeping with her. How can you say anything like that? What, what is the meaning of this? Ah, Dave. You don't even have any remorse. Uh, uh, honey, honey, stop. Choma is just my blood. That is just a pet name. Yeah. Oh, pe shut up. 
Did you say a pet's name? Sweetheart. Honey. How come I haven't heard you call her that pet's name? Honey, Choma here is just my blood. That makes it even more disgusting, Dave. Have you no shame? Shut up your mouth or I'll shut it up for you. Honey, it's not what you think. Tell me what to do in my house? This is our house. She has got to leave. She's not going anywhere with my legs. She's not going anywhere. Then I'll do it my way. Don't do anything stupid. Don't even try it.
Let me have the khakis. Let me have the khakis! Baby, I can't wait to have you to myself. I'm tired of this hide and seek game. Driving into this place. I didn't know you were living here. Do I know you? Baby, you're talking to Josh, your boyfriend. Please, I have never met you in my entire life. What is the meaning of this? What's going on? Is he your boyfriend? Jimmy, what's the meaning of this? You'll be asking me. I don't know you. What are you doing here? Baby, are, you, are you pretending or what? This is Josh. It's me, Josh. Are you having anything to do with that? David, I don't understand what is going on here. I don't know you. I have never met you in my entire life. How did this go? You nailed it. defend yourself by playing that stunt out there? You still have the guts to say rubbish. Wait a minute. Did you just say that in rubbish? Is it because I didn't throw you out? David, you and I know that all this was planned by you. Shut up! You have just three days to tell me who that man is. Or else, you see yourself to your father's house. Three days? I don't know who he is. I have never met that man in my entire life. I have never seen him before. I have been married to you for how long now? Why hasn't anyone showed up? Why now? Why now? Why is all this happening now? I don't know him and you know it. Rubbish. Ah. 
But you didn't eat your food. You didn't eat your food. Why? I'm not hungry. You're not hungry. Please, please, don't start. Just stop, don't start. I am the one who has been accused of infidelity. David, just say you are sorry. And everything will be fine. I don't have to apologize for something I am not guilty of. Please do so. 
something. She's only unconscious. Yeah, she could die. You don't have to be scared. Yeah, come, on, come here. Come here. Come on. That is just a nightmare. By the way, is this not Shoma, the daughter of Uwakwe? What is she doing here? She only helps us in the house. Help in the house? As what? House help? No, they can. Where is Silver? What? What's the meaning of all this? I think she went to... Mama... Uh, will you take tea? Oh, Oko Maya, would you be ever? I am not hungry. Go and call Sylvia for me. Okay. David. Where is your wife? Well, she what? I. Uh, uh, Mama, is, is, excuse me. Okay? 
Hey, why is Mama here this early? Did she call you she was coming? No. 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 Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What? It's possible she called Mama. Yes, she called Mama and she's hiding somewhere in this house. I'm sure of that. I'm so confused right now. I don't know what to say. Okay, it's okay, it's your shot. See, Mama is here. You know what? Tell her anything. Look for something. Just tell her anything, okay? Calm down. Take it easy. Maybe go before she comes. I think she she went to the church. To the church? Yes, yes, Mama. Repeat. Mama. You look nervous. Is everything all right? Mama, everything. I'm fine. I'm just fine. Everything is fine, Mama. Ah, uh, I did not ask if you're fine or not. I said, is everything all right? What is going on? Mama, nothing is going on. Everything is fine. This thing is not meant for everybody to see it. Okay, Mama, I have heard. I won't dress like this again. She's not yet back. Her phone is even switched off. Hmm? Mama, to tell you the truth, to be honest with you, I don't know where she is. David, you don't know where your wife is. Babe, you are joking. Let me tell you, if anything happens to that girl... Mama, nothing will happen to her. She will be fine. In fact, I've already reported to the police. What? Police? Hello? 
Say uh, hello. Sylvia! Sylvia, where are you? Did I not see both of you? Eh? Or did I kill you? Did I not see both of you? Mama, David has changed. He will keep denying it. Mama, ask her. Ask her. Has she ever caught me with this trauma? I don't need to ask anybody anything. I saw both of you myself. So what are you saying? Eh? Hey, Jimanyam fool no now. I mean, how can a married man sleep on the same cushion with a girl that he is not married to? The girl that was almost naked. Hey, Jimanyam Fununu. Mama, do you know he even said that she's related to you? Asioja, she is not in any way related to us. Mama, is Chama not, 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 not from the center? Shut up your mouth. Because she's the same village with us, that makes her a relative. Or even a chicken one. This is carelessness. That girl must leave your house. All that happened, I beg you. Mama, what is going on between Chama and I? Don't you trust me? Hmm, not anymore. I used to. Uh, I used to trust you, but not anymore. She will leave your house. And she's the only wife you have that I know. Let me ask you, why did you elopate your wife? Mama, she insulted me. She insulted Mama, do you know that one guy came looking for her in the house? Mama, it's a big lie. It's a lie. Did he plan it out himself? Yes. David, I am disappointed. Sometimes you behave as if I'm not the one that raised you. Give me this Motazio de Agua. Eh? Hi. Oh. Oh, yeah. Apologize to your wife. Hmm? Apologize to her. Apologizing means that I'm guilty. Are you not guilty? No, I'm asking you. You are! So apologize to her! Mama, I will apologize. When I offend her. Never more. David! David! Oh, can't you follow your duty? Oh, yeah. Apologize to your wife. Sorry. Mm -mm. Sorry. Do it properly! For many me time. Do many of my. She of my lady, sorry. Say you're sorry very well. Do it properly. I'm sorry. Mama, David has changed. That girl has bewitched him. It's okay. 
Now you know that going in and out of marriage is a bad stigma. <sighs> ah, I know. Thank God we finally succeeded. Yes, thank God. And thank you very much. It's okay. What are friends for? Just take very good care of yourself, your daughter, your husband. I will. Mm -hmm. I will. Yeah. 